Scorpio, this is Jackie Talon. This is your general reading. This is for your week up, April 19th, 2021. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you're enjoying these readings, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com. And if I do an extended reading, you will also find the link to that and everything else I offer in the description box below this video. Scorpio, this is a month of abundance, um, particularly running from this 19th through the 30th. There's going to be a lot of transitions and a lot of changes. It's really going to be about divine timing. So let's take a look. You guys start with the magician. Okay. The magician is, of course, number one tarot card in the deck. Shows you get everything you want and everything you desire. Okay. With that, right beside it, you got the sun. The sun shines brightly in all that you do, but it also brings in golden opportunities. And we have the page of swords. Oh, that happy, carefree. Look at that energy. Happy, carefree, traveling around. Uh, could also, uh, a Taurus may resonate with some of you. Okay. Now, moving forward, we have the three of swords. Third person, unwanted advice and or opinions. Three is a crowd. In the center of the reading, we have a new beginning in love. We have the Queen of Wands. Okay. Take charge type person. Uh, this is, I'm going to throw out a fire sign, particularly a Leo may resonate with you guys. Someone that is putting their foot down. Someone that's grounded, centered, getting things done. And with that, I have the Six of Wands. Total victory, complete success. This shows me, Scorpio, you are in the limelight. You have an audience. Someone's watching you. Um, this could also indicate that you're the life of the party. Or you're surrounded by people you're not normally surrounded by. Be warned, we have the double card energy. Someone shady in your circle. Don't worry, we will clarify these. And we have the king of coins. Okay, this could resonate as a Gemini. But overall, it's looking like financial independence. So, a lot going on here for my Scorpios. Okay, the magician, of course, overriding saying you get what you want. There is a shady person here, especially with that Three of Swords coming into play. And you're under a new beginning in love. So, let's keep moving forward with this. Scorpio, this is your week of April 19th, 2021. Scorpio. We have the moon. And the moon says one thing. It's just what I said at the beginning of this video. It's about divine timing. Okay. With the sun. There it is again. Three of swords. I really have to say. Scorpio, in regards to your love. Be warned of a third party situation. Um, no, it's not pretty. But it is coming into play twice in this reading. Page of Swords comes with the Three of Pentacles. Okay, this is a timing card in regards to your finances. I say the finance, there's no financial problems for you guys. And if you're struggling right now, it's the same thing as divine timing. It's a matter of timing before it's all rightened. The Three of Swords is coming in with the Nine of Swords. Loss of sleep. Loss of sleep because you're in your head and it's coming on top of this Three of Swords. There's definitely a third party situation going on here. And with that, I have the High Priestess on the, the Ace of Cups. See the moon? It's all about divine timing. Okay? Um, grounded, centered, balance is being restored. The Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands coming in um, as a Leo type energy. Also, you've got the Devil card again. There is someone shady here in the circle. Okay? Six of Wands with victory and success shows the wheel is turning in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune, things are finally going your way. It could also indicate partnership in regards to love and or finances. 
And then we have this devil person, the shady person, seven of wands, checking things off your to-do list and getting things done. Let's keep going with this. Knight of cups could be in your love life. And the time frame is now. This is someone in your love life. This devil card energy is going with the three of swords. That there is a third party situation going on here. Okay, King of Coins, King of Pentacles comes with the King of Wands. Grounded, centered, taking authority. Again, this is a, a fire sign. I'm thinking Aries will play a role here. And the center card bonus, we have the Six of Pentacles. This is another timing card, all about divine timing. This drives home the point of what I said, that your finances will be restored. Now, Scorpio, you've got a fantastic week ahead. I'm going to end things here. I'm not going to go with the extended, but you do need to know two things that you got out of this reading that you need to know. One, there should be no money concerns because money is going to be straightened out. That's going to be rightened. But there is a third party situation going on, and this applies to my couples as well as my singles. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you're going to be really mad when you find out, and I didn't warn you about it. So there you have it. You guys have a fantastic week, and I will see you soon. Bye.